Hello, you're on Rosalie Toys channel and I will teach you to make beautiful toys. In this video we will be making a cane chain doggy like this. Don't forget to show your support with a like and stay tuned by subscribing. First, you'll need some plush yarn in the main body color and the secondary color. I will work with the Himalaya Dolphin Baby. The items that will be used are 4mm safety eyes, a nose, a 4 or 3.5mm crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors, hollow fiber, stitch marker. Stitches you need to know beforehand a magic ring, chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, decrease, increase and bubble stitch. I made this doggy with a 3.5 mm crochet hook and uh, this doggy with a 4 mm crochet hook, so it came out a little bigger in size. So, let's start the ears. Take the main body color and we do 7 chain stitch. From the second chain, from the hook, we do 6 single crochet. Then we do chain stitch and uh, turn your work. From the second chain from the hook we do two slip stitch. Then three single crochet. And uh, next we do two increases. This means two single crochet into each stitch from round one like this. Then we do three single crochet. And finally two slip stitch.
cut the yarn, fasten it off and tie to end together. Make the second ears the same steps. Next, take the main body color and in first row we do six single crochet in magic ring. I'll link my tutorial on how I like to do the magic ring at the top of the video. In round 2, we do 4 increases. Then we're gonna do a tail. So make three chain stitch. Then from the second chain from the hook we do two slip stitch. Next, we do two increases onto the body. At the end of the row, we should have 12 stitches. In the third row, we're going to do the legs. I've set the stitch of necessary to make sure the puppy's legs don't end up on the side. Ok, we start with a single crochet. I want to make the legs a different color. I stop it before pulling through the loop and now we can grab the white yarn and uh, do the color change. So now we do 3 double crochet bubble stitch in white. You'll need to do 3 double crochet in the next stitch, but you're gonna only to do half double crochet to the end. So you'll yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, Yarn over, pull through two, again yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, and yarn over, pull through two. Again yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over and yarn over pull through two. You'll have uh, four loops on your hook and uh, you're gonna doing yarn over the main and uh, pull through all loops.
then we do increase in the next stitch. And uh, again we do increase. Next I'm halfway in that second increases and we're going to switch back over to the white. And uh, we do three double crochet bubble stitch in white. Okay, you'll have four loops on your hook and uh, you're going to yarn over the main and pull through all loops. Next, we do two single crochet. Then we do increase. And next skip the tail and uh, do two single crochet. Next we do an increase. and a single crochet. At the end of the row we should have 16 stitches. In round 4 and 5 we just do 16 single crochet around. In round 6 we do 2 single crochet.
and then we do a decrease. I like to make them invisible by working through the front loops of the stitches like this. Okay, and we do all of that four times to get 12 stitches. In round 7 we will be making the arms. They should be symmetrical to the legs. Offset the stitch if necessary to make sure the puppy's legs don't end up on the side. So we do single crochet and I'm halfway in that single crochet and we're going to switch back over to the white and we do 3 double crochet bubble stitch in white okay yarn over insert the hook yarn over yarn over pull through two Again yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, and uh, last times, You'll have four loops on the, your hook and uh, you're going to yarn over the main and pull through all loops. Next we do three single crochet. And stop before the last single crochet and switch back over to the white. And again we do three double crochet bubble stitch in white. And finally we do 6 single crochet. 
at the end of the row we should have 12 stitches. In round 8 we do 2 single crochet and then we do a decrease and we do all of that 3 times to get 9 stitches. Now I'm gonna stuff the body. In round 9 we do 9 increases which brings us up to 18 stitches. In the 10th row we will be make the duck face. It should be in the center, so shift the loops if necessary. We start with the 5 single crochet. I'm halfway in that fifth single crochet and uh, we're going to switch back over to the white and we do four double crochet bubble stitch in white. First Second, third, and fourth. You all have five loops on your hook, and you're going to yarn over the white and pull through all loops. Then we do single crochet. And 
and next we do second bubble stitch just like the first Okay, you'll have five loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over the main and pull through all loops. Be careful not to miss any loops. It's easy to miss them here. And uh, finish of the round with the 11 single crochet this brings a total of round to 18 stitches In round 11 and 12 we just do 18 single crochet round. Now let's attach the eyes. Place the eyes between the 12 and 13 rounds and about 3 stitches apart. And we just attach the back. And now I'm gonna show you how to make a nose for a little toy like this.
Stuff your toys as you go. In round 13, we will join the ears to the head. Let's try to symmetrically position both ears against the head. Shift the loops if necessary. So, we start with the single crochet. Next, we do decrease together with the ear. So, attach the ears by inserting the hook into the first stitch of the ears, then into the stitch on the body. Then Insert the hook into the second stitch of the ear and uh, into the stitch on the body. Finally, pull through all loops. Next, we do single crochet together with the ears. And then we do decrease. Next we do single crochet. And decrease. Single crochet again. And we do decrease together with the second ear. Again, insert the hook into the first stitch of the ear, then into the stitch on the body. Then into the second stitch of the ear and into the stitch on the body. Finally, pull through all loops. Now we do single crochet together with the ear.
and uh, then we do decrease single crochet and decrease In round 14 we do 5 decreases and close the hole. You can add a little more stuffing if necessary, cut the yarn and leaving a tail. To close the hole go through the front loops of the last stitches then pull on the yarn to close the hole Now I'm going to make eye sockets with this thread like this. You don't have to do it if you already like this result.
So your cute doggy keychain is complete. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next toys.